hello everybody to NBA 2K22. We have uh season two build your empire cards here. I know it's pretty late to do these, but um so, some things happened. But uh this is gonna be a long one. We have 42 cards to cover. Um so let's get into it. Okay. First we have Ben Macklemore. Ben M Mick Lenmore. Yeah, Macklemore or whatever. 78 overall gold. Okay. 78 offense, 70 defense. 5 golds. 82 3 all right, 84 speed, 80, 80 trap and dunk. Can't really play defense or can't play defense. Um I'm going to say mediocre on finishing. I'm gonna, nah, I'm gonna say mediocre also on shooting and nothing else really. And this is gonna be pretty di di different because I'm not gonna go on a full detail on every single card. So, yeah. Uh, ben Malcolmore. Um. Actually, I don't know that release. So, I think it's a good release. At least I think, yeah. Now uh, we move on to 82 overall, a Emerald, Aaron Brooks. 83 offense, 80 defense, 10 silvers, 9 uh, golds. Okay, 80 tri uh, 85 shoot, uh, 3, 93 speed, no dunking at all, no interior. A little bit of perimeter, I would say. 93 speed, alright. Um, you can add posterizer and luminous takeoff. Probably add that also. Like, that's pretty much what you need. Maybe Crace under pressure, but yeah. Um, I'm going to say he's decent on shooting. Like, you can't get anything like Chef or Luminous, but still. I'm going to say he's decent actually I'm gonna say he's mediocre because you can't get handles for days and he's mediocre or he he has no defensive badges and the ones that you can add to him really don't matter so yeah and the release come shot five um what's that release oh that release is pretty good that that really is pretty good. Um yeah. Um okay, I can't scroll up. Um What's going on, bro? Wait. What's going on? I can't. The hell is going on? What the what the hell is going on? Why can't I not go up? What is going on? Stop saying that. Like Oh my god, what the fuck was that, bro? Next, we have Dennis Rodman. Okay. 78 offense, 83 defense, 4 prawns, 7 silvers, 2 golds. Oh, he doesn't have 3 ball. Maybe he'll get it when he's Evo at the Ruby. Uh, really doesn't have anything mediocre on uh, finishing. Has actually, yeah, he's pretty decent on defense, just with his emerald also. So, okay, you need to get three rebounds for sapphire, uh, three prawns, four silvers, six golds, and it is 
water quickness, speed a little, okay. I'm pretty sure like the badges are like almost the exact same. Stuff like these. But um yeah, those are pretty good. Um, and now you go in it to a ruby. Uh, he has three prawns, one silver, and nine golds. A 57 three. Like, I don't know why you even add threes to him, but 77 speed, alright. 70 speed with ball, alright. 90 interior, okay. Same one as before. Okay. I'm gonna say he's decent on defense because. Which it, he's a rebound specialist. And uh, that um, Dennis Rodman release, I, I'm going to say he's not the, the worst release. Wait. Okay. It, it Actually, yeah, it might be one of the worst. Because the only way to really get it fast enough is from fading. So, yeah. And uh, the first three we just saw here... Actually, I don't know. Not the first three, I mean. Like, the the first two we went over are the season rewards for, like, the levels. And then, now we have Tony Tukrich. Okay. Um, season two rewards, alright. 85 offense, 78 defense. Five silvers, seven golds, eight four three, seven five speed. Um, no Duncan, barely any defense except like perimeter. Uh, has shooting, really doesn't have any playmaking. Um, Perk Lopez set upper. Um, actually, yeah, that's a pretty good upper. Yeah, this, this uh, card is pretty good, because we all know, like, Tony Kukoc is going to be pretty good anyways. But, um, now we have James Posey, 85 overall, Sapphire. So I guess we're getting two Sapphires, then? I, I don't know. Uh, 82 offense, 86 defense, 1 bronze, 5 silvers, 9 golds, 8-4-3... A2 speed, 75 charm and dunk, 60 interior, 85 perimeter. Really, yeah, he doesn't have any finishing, but he can add like uh, one less in posterizer. He, I would say, is mediocre. I would say he really doesn't have any playmaking, and I'm gonna say he's decent because he has prawns clamps. Um, jump shot 16. Um, wait, what's that upper? Oh, that's a good release, yeah. It's not the most good, it's not the best release, but. Now, and now we have 85 overall Sapphire Chimmy Butler, which you get from the stage. Uh, 15 prawns, 8 gold, uh, silvers, 75 3, 82 speed, 70 tribe and dunk, 68 interior, 80 perimeter, 78 speed ball. Decent on shooting because he has sniper and stuff. Really has no finishing. Um, really has maybe like an add handles for days. And he, yeah, that's pretty much it because he can't add quick first step. Uh, and pretty decent on defense because he has like intimidator. I'm sorry about that, but and also he has silver uh clamp. Um, Sean. Um, um, what's that? Oh, yeah, that's a wait, the upper again. That's a good release. The Monte, uh, lower base, or just Monte's release is pretty good. And his lower base, so yeah, that's pretty good. Now we're, like, on part of the Signature Series, uh, two cards. 
let's start with the non-autocraft Cho Cadre. 89 offense, 81 defense, 4 bronze, 6 silvers, 16 golds, not 93, alright. 82 speed, no dunking. That kind of makes sense because it's point guard, but uh. No interior, 82 perimeter. Uh, it really has no finishing unless you have, like, once again, like, Chris under pressure on the list, or, like, posterizer. He is. I'm gonna say mediocre because he really can't he can't get anything on shooting. Um, he's pretty good on playmaking. Maybe have like hyper try, quick first step, or quick uh or quick chain or ankle breaker. And he and he's I'm gonna say decent because you can add clamps and you can add gold and he'll be a defensive beast because clamps is like it's, pr it's so good, bro. Like, you you kind of really need it, because in this time in the year, so, yeah. Um, I need to see, what is, um, um, I'm gonna say that, wait, what's the upper, yeah, I'm gonna say that one is, Mediocre. I don't think it's really, really good for these stuff. And on his signature one, he has one Hall of Fame, and that one is set shooter. All right. I don't really think that boosts anything. Okay. Now we move on to token reward. 88 overall. A uh, Ruby Cole Anthony. 89 offense, 83 defense, 1 bronze, 11 silvers, 21 golds, 84 is 3, 90 speed, 75 drive and dunk, 49 interior, I mean 45 interior, 75 perimeter, 90 speed of ball, right? Um, can't add anything to finishing. I'm gonna say he's mediocre. Um, I'm gonna say decent on shooting. I know we can't get like blind with Chef or what, but it's um it's fucking I mean as far as uh it's Cole Anthony, really. Like I understand what the choke car well why, but um playmaking not the worst basically. Um no he's pretty good on playmaking, he has no defense though. Uh Probably add handles for days, and that's pretty much it. Other maybe than tight handles, but that's it. Um, Paul Pierce. Oh, oh. Okay, may, the upper makes up for the, the Paul Pierce upper. I mean the lower, because that release is not the worst, but like it's so weird the time. Now we have Danny Age, 88 overall, Ruby, and it's another season two reward. All right. 88 offense, 78 defense, 1 bronze, 13 silvers, 19 golds. Um, 88 3, 79 speed, no dunking, and really has no interior, but he has perimeter. Uh, 79, okay. Um, I'm gonna say decent because he has like unstrippable and crazy under pressure on finishing. Um, he, he's decent. He He's pretty good. For Danny Ainge, they have like Prawns Limitless and stuff, Sniper, all, like he almost has every single one except like Chef, but you can't add it. But he's pretty good on shooting. And um, probably on playmaking, he, I'm gonna say decent, like just base. Probably add handles for days on him. And he has, really has no defense. Um, and that release. Um, yeah, that release is, um, decent, I would say. Yeah. Okay. 90 offense, 85 defense, 
three bronze, eight silvers, eighteen golds, seventy-five three, eighty-seven speed, ninety-five charming dunk, sixty-six interior, eighty perimeter. Um. Uh, really, he's pretty good on finishing. As we know, he's gonna be good on finishing. Desmond Mason. He's one of the like best dunkers, I would say. And probably on shooting, he doesn't have any shooting, which is kind of surprising. But probably had sniper, and uh, maybe mismatch expert, probably. Um, hot sun hunter. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say he has decent because he has quick stuff also. He's decent also on defense because Brown's clamps. Oh, that, that release is good. Oh, what's the upper? Oh, that release is good. Bro. He, he, he's one, probably one of the best rubies in the game, if I want to be honest. Uh, his one Hall of Fame is on, and it's limitless takeoff. We all know, we probably all knew it was rather going to be posterized or, or the most take off, but yeah. Okay, now we have 90 overall amethyst, Chuan Howard. 92 offense, 86 defense, 7 silvers, 21 golds, 1 hall of fame, 74 3. So I got that. Um, 74 3, 78 speed. A driving bounce, A from interior, 77 perimeter, 72 speed with ball. He's pretty good on finishing. Uh, his one out of one, the Hall of Fame badge is on finishing, and it's Chris under pressure. So yeah, it's pretty good. Probably only add limitless. Um, um. Probably at Limitless Sniper. Has really no playmaking to add, probably like handles for days and like ankle perfect maybe. And you can add a clamp, so add clamps, maybe an intimidator also. Uh maybe run yeah, maybe run protector. I'm gonna say that release is decent. It's not the best, I would say. This one. Okay, now we have token. Yeah, token reward. Montrez Herald. One uh, 89 offense, 83 defense, one bronze, two sil silvers, 18 goals, one hall of fame. No three, as we know. 78 speed. 85 driving dunk, 8 interior. Um, he's gonna be a beast in finishing. You know, can't let him list, but he's a center, so. And he can actually get shooting badges, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna say, and his 1 out of 1 Hall of Fame badge is on defense and his hustler. But, um, I'm gonna say he's decent on defense. Probably the only thing you really need to add on any of his badges is probably maybe Finders, sh uh, freaking Chef, Limo Spot Up, why not? Even though he has a 52 3 ball and Sniper, probably. That release, um, I think I already went over, or no, that's Montrez Harold. Let me help me out. But, damn, how is it that this release is only suitable with like people who don't have their profile pictures on 2 Um, but, oh my god. Bro, that, that lower base is, like, maybe one of the best bases in the game. So, I don't know. Uh, now we have 90 overall Amethyst, Choberry Carroll, and he has 89 offense, 88 defense, 3, uh, silvers, 
12 gold, one Hall of Fame, no 3, really no speed, decent speed I would say, maybe, for a century, that's like 7 feet, right? Yeah. AE Travin Dunk, 86 interior, no perimeter, has really no, that's a big boost, bro, that, I mean, that's a big downgrade, bro. His one out of one Hall of Fame badge is on finishing, and it's put down boss. And he can really, he can get, um, almost takeoff and post rise would probably put that on him. He really has no shooting. Um, no playmaking also. And, um, I'm gonna say medio, uh, I'm gonna say he's good, because he's center, he's seven foot, but he can't get clamps. Like, come on, bro. Um, jump shot one. Upper... Damn, that release is good. That Crant release, uh, Crant release, what am I saying? Crant Hill release is pretty good. Now we have Bruce Bowman, 91 overall, Amethyst, 82 offense, 95 defense, 2 silvers, 16 goals, 1 Hall of Fame, 89-3, 83 speed, 83 acceleration, 65 driving dunks, he'll really not barely even dunk though. A uh, two interior, 96 perimeter. No finishing, but you can have limitless takeoff and posterizer. Probably at that, is the one of the best uh, finishing. As one out of one Hall of Fame badges are on shooting, and they're they are corner specialists. He has no playmaking, can't add anything, and he's going to be pretty good on defense. He's Bruce Bowen. Um. So yeah. Uh, jump shot 40. Uh, wait, what? Oh, that's a good release, yeah. That's the effort. Oh, that's three. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. What? Um, okay. Um, yes. Hall of Fame badge on his other card. The signed one has clamps. Oh, he he's a beast. Then he he's a beast, 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 bro. Now for the last amethyst of this is a strange Rio Rattler. A a five offense, ninety five defense, six silvers, twelve golds, one Hall of Fame. No three, seventy five speed, seventy five driving dunk, ninety interior, no perimeter really. Um in, uh he's I'm gonna say mediocre without any badges on the finishing, but add limitless and posterizer and he's pretty good. He has no shooting play or playmaking. And Lachit, his only Hall of Fame badge is on defense and it's intimidator. But you can add it clamps of gold, so He's pretty, pretty good, bro. Frickin', for real. Zero Ratliff is pretty good. Jump shot 17, though. That's one of the worst... I wouldn't say the worst release, I would say, but, like, if you don't have it on, like, very quick or quick, it's pretty trash. Now we move on to the Diamonds, and we have 92 overall... Uh, Diamond. Adrian Dantley. Uh, 96 offense, 87 defense, 2 bronzes, 7 silvers, 19 golds, 1 hall, uh, 3 hall of fames, I mean. 77 speed with ball, I mean, that's 77. 77 3, 88 speed, 80 driving dunk, uh, 69 interior, a little bit below, but. I'm gonna make it slide. 85 perimeter, 82 speed. Okay. And all of, all of his three Hall of Fame badges are on finishing, and they are acrobat, post, uh, touch, pro touch, and slurry finisher. And he has limitless and posterizer. Yeah, he's pretty good on finishing. You already know Adrian Dantley. Like, it, wait, no. I forgot who it was. No, that was Derek Clifford. 
But he's pretty good on finishing, we all know that. He really doesn't have the best shooting without adding any of edges, so add Chef probably, Deadeye, or Limitless, or Sniper, yeah. Um, really not, yeah, I'm gonna say he's decent without any badges added, bad like handles for days, uh, or unpluckable probably. And you can add clamps to him, so he's pretty decent on defense. Um, jump shot 18. Rick Barry. Uh, what's the upper? Um, I don't know that upper, but like from that base, it, it's pretty good release. It does look weird though, so that's a problem you're gonna have to encounter. Now we are back to signature signature series, and we have uh, 93 overall Diamond Lamar Aldridge. Okay, 95 offense, 86 defense, one prawns, six silvers, 19 goals, four Hall of Fames, 85 tri uh 85 three, 69 speed, which is I guess good for center, 75 charming dunk. Okay, 84 interior. And uh, one out of his four uh, Hall of Fame badges are on finishing, and they are Tree Maker. I mean, Tree Shaker. Shake. And he doesn't have Posterizer or oh, uh, Limitless, but you can add it to him, so probably do that. And for some reason, even though, actually, no, he has a decent three ball, but um, three out of his four are on shooting, and they are Catch and Shoot, Rhythm Shooter. Set shooter, Pro and probably had s sniper or uh, can't add one of those though. Uh, maybe dead eye, yeah. Okay, he you can't add anything on playmaking, but he's pretty good. I mean, no, I'm gonna say he's decent because he's Lamar, and you can add anything, so probably add clamps, and he's pretty good. Um. I already know that release. It's, it's. I'm not gonna say it's trash, but it's not the worst. Like you can make it with him, but like it's not the best release, bro. Um, and his extra one is on, and it's postman technician. That's pretty good for finishing. I forgot to say that if I didn't say for anybody else. That that really, that fidget spinner is pretty good. Now for the uh, token rewards. Uh, 93 overall diamond bingo smith 93 offense 85 defense four prawns 14 uh, silvers 17 golds four hall of fames 873 88 speed 80 tribe and dunk really no interior 85 perimeter 85 field ball one out of his four hall of fame badges are on finishing and they are slowly finisher and i'm gonna say he's decent on finishing um and on shooting, three out of his four Hall of Fame badges are on shooting, and they are Hustle Hunter, Rhythm Shooter, and uh, Slippery Off Ball. You know, you can only add Plunder, so probably add that to him. And on playmaking, I'm gonna say he's decent also because he has Handle for Days and all that stuff. Pretty much all you need that you can add to him. And Gold Clamps, okay, he's he's decent on defense. So Bingo Spin is a pretty good card. Oh my god, bro. Um. Wait, what? Where's the other? Um, that the prawn upper is, is decent. That's all I have to say about that release. It's decent. Like. I'm not gonna say it's amazing. And now we have Paul Silas, 93 overall diamond. And it's the triple throne line reward. Alright, that's what I thought. 86 offense. No, I thought it was the vault reward. I, I don't know why it's not. 86 offense, 98 defense, 8 silvers, 23 golds, 4 hall of fame, 77 3, 92 speed, 85 charming dunk, 90 interior, 90, 89 perimeter, 85 charming uh, speed. Ball, I mean. uh, I'm going to say it's decent, but if you add one less and posterize and post spin technician, that'd be pretty good. He has no shooting, so add like 
all the other ones I said earlier on people who don't have like shooting, like one of us and all that stuff. Um, uh, I'm gonna say he's probably at animals for days. He's pretty decent. I know he's. I'm gonna say decent on toy making. Uh, all of his four Hall of Fame badges are on defense. In which he has every single one except Worm, but he has four out of four of his Hall of Fame badges are on defense. And they are Intimidate, in Simperator, Intimidator, Post, uh, Pogo Stick, and Tireless Defender. Okay. Um, um, I'm gonna say that's a mediocre release because I don't think Trey Mom's Cranes release is the best. Now we have Roth Lefleevy, 93 overall diamond, and it's the Trip Threat offline reward, alright? 96 offense, and 89, 84 defense, 4. Oh, four silvers, eighteen golds, four Hall of Fames, ninety-three. Really no speed. Seventy-five charm dunk. A two interior has really no uh, perimeter. Um, can't get post riser in one of this. I'm gonna say he's pretty decent. Or no, he's decent because he has press under pressure, lob city, and post spin. We can add it. Um. And four out of his four Hall of Fame badges are on shooting, and they are finders, catch and shoot, corner specialist, and set shooter. And he has gold numbers. Oh, that he's a he's a freaking shooting god, bro. He has no playmaking though, and he really has no defense because actually he probably had like rim protected. That's pretty much it. Um, jump shot, twenty eight. Um, oh. Oh, that release. Oh. Oh, that release is good. So, a little thought to measure how to use a full escape. 93 offense, or 93 overall diamond, Latrell Springwell. 80, uh, 93 offense, 91 defense, 2 fronds, 12 silvers, 23 golds, 4 Hall of Fames. 86-3, 89 speed, 9 trap and dunk, 75 interior, 88 perimeter. Two out of his four Hall of Fame badges are in finishing, and they are fearless finisher and slurly finisher. And probably at post spin, even though he's pretty decent because he has limitless and posterizer. Wait. Yeah, he has four. Okay. I forgot. Uh... And one out of his four Hall of Fame badges are on shooting, and they are hot so hunter. And probably add limitless because you can add that to him. Maybe corner specials or dead eye, but for sure add limitless. And one out of his four Hall of Fame badges are on playmaking, and they are, or it is a uh, space creator. And you can add handles for days, so I'm gonna say he's pretty good. And tight handles, yeah, on uh, playmaking. And gold clamps, all right. He, he's a decent on defense, also. Come on, man. Um. Okay. Um. I got an end block release. Oh, yeah, that, that chump shot is good. The field, uh, fields. That, that was good. We're not gonna go over Michael Jordan, free agent. There's no reason to. I'm just gonna say that. Um, now we. We're back to the series, and we have Jalen Brown, 93 offense, 93 defense, 1 bronze, 10 silvers, 29 golds, 4 Hall of Fames, 89-3, 89 speed, 9 trim dunk, 75 interior, 87 perimeter. Um, he is probably, yeah, he's decent on finishing. Um, and 1 out of his 4 Hall of Fame badges is on shooting. Wait, right? That's 4, yeah. Uh, one out of his four Hall of Fame badges is on shooting, and it's catch and shoot. And just, yeah, he's pretty good. He has Lumulus, and he has a, exactly a 89.3, so that's pretty good. And he's he's decent because you get on um, playmaking because you're going to add handles for days, quick for stuff, pretty much. 
and three out of his four Hall of Fame badges are on defense, and they are pick dodger, post, uh, pogo stick, and tireless defender. Gold, oh, and he has a gold clamp. It's pretty good on defense. Why I'm talking really, really quick is because I want to get this video not at least 30 minutes, not for freaking like. It's I think it's already 40 minutes, but uh, whatever. Okay, that release is pretty good. Let's go up. Oh, that that release is good. Jalen Brown is good, and we we were right because he did get a card. It wasn't a moments card, but he did get a a diamond card. And his extra Hall of Fame badge is posterizer. All right. Yeah. That's pretty good. Okay. Now we're, uh, it's a load. I think because I've been clicking on too many cards, but now we move on to Pink Diamonds, and we have Pink Diamond, 95 overall, Stephen Curry. This is probably the best card in the game, if I'm saying it right now, because he has the Curry side. So, yeah. 98 offense. 89 defense, 5 prawns, 10 silvers, 24 golds, 6 hall of fames, 97 3, 91 speed with ball, not speed with ball, oh it's also 93, what a coincidence, and uh, really has no interior, and he has an 84 perimeter, and he is, he's going to be decent on finishing, if you had Actually, no. I'm going to say he's decent. Maybe go on to mediocre, but he's decent. And all of his six Hall of Fame badges are on shooting, and they are catch and shoot. Uh, circus threes. Dead eye. Difficult shots. Cream machine. And stop and pop. And of course, he's going to have Chef, his own damn badge, and Lemon Spot Up. He, he's amazing on shooting. He's going to be amazing on damn playmaking. Because he has those freaking triple moves. And he's, I'm going to say, almost a mediocre, but he's pretty good because he has prawns clamps. This card is amazing, bro. And we already know that release. It's good. I it's I would not say, like, you can airball most of the time. I'm not airball, but, like, miss and stuff most of the time. But, yeah. And his extra Hall of Fame badge is, let me see. Three, four, five, six, three, six, seven. I'm, wait, I think it's Cream Machine. All right, let's move on to Dwight Howard, which I'm pretty sure when I go on to it, it's gonna say rewards or something like that, right? This is the reward, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 90 offense, 99 defense. Three prawns, four uh, silvers, thirteen golds, seven Hall of Fames, seven Hall of Fames, bro. No three, really. No, no. What do I mean, really? No three. Eighty-five speed, ninety-five charm dunk, ninety-five interior. Really has not the greatest perimeter though. One out of his seven Hall of Fame badges are on a uh, finishing, and they are posterizer. And um, he's pretty good because he has gold limitless and stuff. He's pretty good at finishing. He, 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 there's no reason he would have shooting, uh, or playmaking really. But uh, six out of his seven Hall of Fame badges are on defense, and they are box, intimidator, pogo stick, post, lockdown, rebound chaser, and rim protector. And you can add clamps. So he's really, really good on defense, bro. He he really is, bro. I can't even complain. Um. It, does, it doesn't really matter, but that release is pretty good, like, from his Invincible from last year. That one is really good. And now we have the token pink diamond, Chris Mullen. 97 offense, 83, eight, only 83 defense, 10 silvers, 18 golds, 6 Hall of Fames, 95-3, 86 uh, speed, 70 tribe and dunk, 66 interior, 88, 86 perimeter. Um, just not adding anything. He's not the greatest, but probably add 
Limitless and Posterizer because you can get any, every single one. And if you want to do something else, or also Postman Technician, but if you want to do something else, like uh, Unscribble or something. Um, and well, almost every shooting badge. He might be one of the best shooters in the game. Like he has, he's. He has six out of his six Hall of Fame badges are on shooting, and they are catch and shoot, clutch shooter, corner specialist, hustle hunter, silverly off ball, and sniper. Oh, he has some less like he has silver chef, but that's good. He might be one of the best shooters. Um, playmaking, he's not the best. Also on it's normal, so probably at Anders for days, quick first step, tight handles, unfuckable. He had. Full clamps, which is I'm gonna say he's decent. I, I'm not gonna say he's the best because like he really needs some other badges and clamps, but yeah. Oh, that upper is pretty. No, uh, yeah, that's that's a pretty good release. I think it's the same one as somebody else I reviewed earlier. Now we have the exchange reward, which is, which is Dave Bing. 95 offense, 92 defense, 4 bronzes, 19 silvers, 15 golds, 6 Hall of Fames, 88-3, 8, I mean 86-3, sorry 88 mid, but 94 speed, 60 trapping well, he really doesn't have a dunk, no interior, but he has a perimeter, 1 out of his 6 Hall of Fame badges is on finishing and it's Triumph Slayer, and he really, you can add Limitless, so probably add that, and posterizer and post uh, spin technician and one out of his six off hand badges is on shooting and it's uh, lucky no, uh, seven and he's pretty good on sh shooting probably add bumless or dead eye no add bumless or if you want to add dead eye also four out of six off hand badges are on playmaking and it's bold uh, passer floor general needle threader and unpluckable. He's pretty decent on playmaking. He's pretty decent on defense because you can add it gold like clamps and stuff. And prick wall, he can add every single one, so he's pretty good. Some shot four. I think we already saw, yeah we already saw. No, we saw the upper. Uh. Um. I'm gonna say that release is not the best though. Okay, now we have the domination reward, Amari, Amari Stoudemire, 96 offense, 88 defense, 3 bronzes, 5 silvers, 12 golds, 6 hall of fame, 76-3, alright, 78 uh, speed, 9 tribe and dunk, 84 interior, not really a perimeter, Yet, uh, 4 out of his 6 hall of fame badges are on finishing and they are fearless finisher, lob city finisher, Rise up and surly finisher. He's pretty good on finishing because he has limitless and posterizer. Uh, and one out of his six Hall of Fame badges on shooting and it's ho uh, hot zone hunter. I'm gonna say he's decent because he can add like chef, dead eye, pretty much. Really has no playmaking. Uh, I'm gonna say he's mediocre even though he has one out of his six Hall of Fame badges on defense and it's post. Uh, pogo stick. Um, now Mary release. I'm gonna say it's decent, not the best, but pretty decent. And the ascension reward is pink. Uh, pink diamond. Carl and Butler, 96 offense, 87 defense, one bronze, eight uh, silvers, 15 golds, six Hall of Fames, 89-3, 83 speed, 80 trap and dunk, 79 interior, 85 perimeter. Uh, I'm gonna say he's decent. I, I, he's decent because he has posterized breaking out Limitless also, so he's pretty good. All the six Hall of Fame badges are on shooting, and they are catch and shoot, plus shooter, corner specialist, hustle hunter, set shooter, so and slowly off board. And I'm gonna say he's decent. He's not the best because you can't get Chef or Limitless, but he's pretty good. And I'm playmaking. He's not the best also without adding any badges. Probably add. The ones I probably said before, like quick for stuff and handles days. 
And like I said before, I had like clamps that on defense because he really doesn't have the best defense. Um, so yeah. Whew. Damn. Whew. Um. Actually, yeah, that that release is decent. Once again, it's not the best. I would say I don't think he really did. But the unloaded load reward, we have 96 overall. Okay, 96 overall, Gary Payton. Uh, 92 offense, 99 defense. We all knew that. 15 silvers, 25 golds, seven Hall of Fames, 833, 93 speed, 70 traveling dunk, 74 interior, 97 perimeter. Uh, like I said before, add posterizer along the list because it's not the best with the honey thing on him. On um, shooting, add probably Chef because he's not the best. Well, he has sniper, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna say he's decent on shooting if you add those. And he, we all know he has handles also, so which he, he has every single one except post playmaker. And all the seven Hall of Fame badges are on defense. Really? Freaking, I wouldn't be surprised on his other card. He's gonna have every single one. Like, from a while from now, or something like that. And it is ankle breaker, uh, ankle braces, I mean. Ball, stripper, clamps, menace, pick dodger, pickpocket, and tireless defender. Okay, he's pretty, no, he's amazing on defense, bro. And that release, um, okay. Let's see upper oh that yeah that really is good that upper is very very good bro and the trap reward is George Irving pink diamond and he yeah, has 96 offense 89 defense two prawns 13 silvers 18 gold seven hall of fames 77 3 86 speed uh 80 trap and dunk 70 interior 86 perimeter uh three uh I mean Five out of seven Hall of Fame badges is on finishing and this acrobat post touch pro touch slurly finisher tear chopper and unstrippable. He's pretty good because he has limitless and posterizer. One out of his seven Hall of Fame badges is on shooting and it is difficult shots. I'm gonna say he's decent, but not the best. Um and you can add he's actually decent without adding any badges, but probably add ankle breaker or Handles for days or quick chain or quick for stuff. And I'm going to say he's mediocre on defense. He doesn't really have the best defensive badges on George Irving. Same release, lower base on as Gary Payton, I mean. Oh, that, that was good. Like, I've used that for the XP last season. I didn't get Carmelo, though. Because you don't know, because I haven't really been streaming a lot recently, but. Fine. Now we have Pink Diamond, Trauma Rant, which is the woman led root for. He has 97 offense, 88 defense, 1 prawns, 9 silvers, 28 golds, 7 Hall of Fames, 88 3, 93 speed, 95 driving dunk, no interior, 85 perimeter. 92 speed with ball and three out of the six Hall of Fame badges. I mean, six out of seven Hall, uh, six out of seven of his Hall of Fame badges are on finishing, and they are fast twitch, fearless finisher, limitless, posterizer, serially finisher, and unstrippable. Probably add post spin technician. Um, and he's pretty good. We all know he's gonna be pretty good on finishing. He's pretty good on shooting just by itself, but probably had Finder Chef or Limitless. And he'll be freaking amazing, bro. And he all we all know he has handles and he has play uh one out of his seven Hall of Fame badges is on playmaking as floor general. And you can add at every single one except like three benchers and stuff. So I had clamps. Like maybe he'll, uh menace will be pretty good. For a point guard. Um, Paul George, oh, that, that really is good. I don't even need to check. Oh, yeah, that really is good. Now we have the level 40 reward, Kevin Barnett. 
96 offense, 99 defense, 1 bronze, 8 silvers, 21 golds, and 8 Hall of Fame badges. 86 3, 87 speed, 9 drive and dunk, 94 interior, 82 perimeter. 4 out of his 8 Hall of Fame badges are in finishing and they are cream shake, fast switch, gross finisher, and post riser. He has the gut. Probably had bumless, and it was, he's pretty good already because he's six foot eleven, and he can get every single one on shooting. So probably had Plunder Chef or uh, Hot Zone Hunter. You have to have like bumless and stuff, um, and sniper because he has a decent three. We all know that, and probably had like the ones like Handle Jose's quicker stuff and stuff. And he's pretty good on playmaking also. He has to be because he's the buff 40 reward, but 4 out of his 8 Hall of Fame badges are on defense, and it's Intimidator and Separator, Post Lockdown, Rim Protector, Silver Clamps, okay? Add that to gold, he might be one of the best defensive guys in the game. He's 6 foot 11, so. King Garnett. Oh, we are, we already, I already know this. That release is good. It doesn't matter if it's on, actually no, if it's on slow, yeah, it's not the best. But that release is good. He always has the same release, so, yeah. And that collector reward. Wait, oh, that, I know what this is for. You know the card collecting? You know how there were some mystery ones? This is this one. That's, that's what it means. 99 offense. Oh my god, 88 defense. 12 silvers, 23 golds, 7 Hall of Fames, 83, 93, 93 speed, 95 trap and dunk, 74 interior, 78 perimeter, 80, 89 speed with ball. 3, I mean, 6 out of his 7 Hall of Fame badges are on shooting and, I mean, finishing, and they are acrobat, fast twitch, fearless finisher, limitless, post riser, and unstrippable. And he's, he's amazing, I'm going to say, on finishing. Um, pro and on shooting, he's not the best, but he's pretty good on shooting without any badges. Probably had Blinder Chef, Lumulus, Sniper, and one out of the seven Hall of Fame badges are on uh, playma uh, playmaking, and then it is downhill. And he's pretty good without any added hall uh, badges. Probably had handles for days, quick chain and stuff. Um, he's pretty good on uh, defense. He has clamps. Probably has that for gold, and he's pretty good. Maybe like, maybe rebound chase on him, but you don't really have to have that. And uh, chump shot five. Oh, yeah, that lower is good. Oh, oh, that that's a good release. That is a good release. That that's not maybe top twenty releases in the game, and now we have the another one for it. I forgot how many you have to get, but now we have the last card, the last card, Terrell Wallace, ninety six overall, pink diamond, ninety one offense, ninety nine defense, nine silvers, twenty five golds, seven Hall of Fames, eighty five three. 89 speed, 9 dragon dunk, good, okay, 80, 85 interior, 93 perimeter, okay, 2 out of his 7, yeah, right, 7, yeah, he has 7, 2 out of his 7 Hall of Fame badges are on finishing, I mean, yeah, and it's fast twitch and limitless, he has gold post riser, maybe, no, I had just freaking post spin technician, and he's pretty good, and on shooting, I'm gonna say he's decent, on shooting, if you don't have any badges, probably had Blinder Chef or uh, Dead Eye, Lumless or Sniper. He's decent on playmaking because of quicker stuff, but probably had Quick Chain, Handles for Days, maybe Hyper Tribe because he's shooting a uh, small forward, power forward. And on defense, he has five out of his seven Hall of Fame badges are on defense, and they are ankle braces. Intimidator, off ball pass, pick dodger, and tireless defender. He has gold clamps, so yeah, maybe you add like prick wall. And he's pretty good. He's a, actually, I'm gonna say amazing on defense.
Jump shot four. Okay, that's good. That's that one's release. Um, the upper. Oh, that's a good release. Uh, Cheryl Wallace release is pretty good. So that'll be the end of this video of season two, Build Your Empire. Bye, everybody.